lockdown started, we very quickly realised we had a lot of students that were going to have problems with accessing IT and computers and we decided to put in some kind of fundraising drive in place. Bigger things happened, you know, we had families who didn't want to ask for help until they'd sold their car and used up all their savings. We investigated where we could do a school-based fundraising drive to take the administration away from me because obviously my job was very much supporting our families and we came across Donate My School. We realised actually it was going to be a very sort of straightforward process to set it up and that actually it took a lot of the everyday administration away from my post so that I could concentrate on actually putting the funds where they were needed. And by using Donate My School we were able to then raise unrestricted money that could go towards that project. But the most interesting thing was that we initially put up a £7,000 target and we raised that within 20 hours of us going live. We then, you know, following some advice from Donate My School, increased that to £10,000 which we reached the following week. So there was just a real speed and efficiency to it, I think, that we hadn't seen before. On Donate My School we raised nearly £13,500. The real shock was that we had tried to do school-wide fundraising schemes like this before and nothing like that. There was something about the way it was put on the system, the way it looked on the page and also I think obviously the, the situation we were all in that really seemed to really capture people's imagination. To have that buffer of funding behind us to be able to actually help where we needed is really, really essential. So the impact's been amazing. We are still getting laptops donated at the moment because people have heard about what, we, what we've done. We help 40 families with assistance, be that vouchers for food because they didn't have food, be it with um, support and referrals to other organisations to help them. We came across students who had really struggled during the, the lockdown with anxiety, with family problems and we were able to provide counselling to students. We also were able to use some of it to train all our learning support assistants in um, mental health first aid so that when the students came back in September we, they were able to look out for the signs of anxiety or problems that these students might have. And the last thing that we've been able to do, which we're really pleased about, is we've been able to fund a educational psychologist. But one of the nicest things was that people could leave comments with their donation and, and some of them were really heartfelt. Um, and one of my favourite ones was there was somebody who donated quite late on um, a, a fairly reasonable sum of money and their comment was, I don't know anyone at Chestnut Grove, I never went to Chestnut Grove, but I walk past it every day and I want everyone um, to feel supported so I'm donating to you today, good luck with what you're doing. And I thought that was really interesting that somebody who actually has nothing to do with us just merely walks past every day um, wanted to contribute and I think that community spirit carried on um, and it's really changed people's perception of schools in the local community in terms of what we offer to students as well as their education. You've really got nothing to lose, make sure that you've got a really clear reason for doing it. Having a goal that's really clear and decisive and, and that everyone can relate to is really important. So for us it was very much like we've got students here who will not be able to eat and will not be able to access any work for the next few months if we don't help them. And I would say, you know, using a platform, the administration was, was virtually zero and that was a real helpful thing for us in such a chaotic environment where everybody was learning to work from home. And yeah, I would highly recommend looking at Donate My School as the platform that you might use.